Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another business intelligence tip. I was going to say tip of the week, but I have not been real great about doing it every week. So I'll just call it a business intelligence tip for today. So today's session, the first one of 2023, uh, welcome. Hope you all had a great new year. I wanted to go through something that I run across every once in a while uh, in our business. We have one of our products that requires uh, SQL Server Analysis Services. And uh, as some of you may know that there are different modes to analysis services. There's tabular mode and multi-dimensional mode. There's also a SharePoint mode, which I don't really run across too often. But basically the, the differences are the type of cubes that are processed and how those are stored and, and uh, queried in the uh, system. And so um, what I wanted to do is give you a little video today on how to switch between those modes. Now, what happens is for our product that requires analysis services, we require for that product multidimensional mode. Well, Microsoft a few years back switched over and set tabular mode to be one of the, the defaults. So what happens a lot of time is we'll request from the DBAs or the system admins at the companies just saying we require analysis services. We say multidimensional mode, but of course, like uh, all of us, we oftentimes ignore some of those words. And so they just go ahead and install uh, analysis services as is. So it gets installed with tabular mode. We go to install the product. Lo and behold, it's tabular mode. Well, the first instinct of a lot of people is to go ahead and uninstall that uh, instance and try and reinstall. Well, you really don't have to do that. It's not not that complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go over to my other screen here and go through the steps that you would do to switch that uh, from that. So really what you do is you you first go into the services. So you do have to be an administrator on the, the box that you're doing this on. But basically you would stop the service uh, analysis services service. Then once that service is stopped, I'm not going to actually stop it on mine. I'm just going to go through the steps that I would do if I were going to do this. Um, once that service is stopped uh, in the services, what you'd want to do is you'd want to uh, open up a file on your system. And, and I'm going to just use Notepad. So, And I open this up as administrator mode just so I could go directly there. So if I open a file, I go to uh, the, the folder um, wherever you installed analysis services system. So by default, this is a default instance just here on my laptop. I would add C program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MSAS 1.5. Now the numbers will be different depending on your version that you're running. Dot SQL Server, OLAP, and config. And so if I go into that folder and I look at the files that are there, one of the files is called msmdsrv.ini. And this any file has all the settings about your setup of analysis services. So if I go ahead and I open up that, uh, that any file, I'll go ahead and open it here, you're going to see a number of the settings that are here. Now, the one we're concerned with is this one right here called deployment mode. And all we have to do to switch it from tabular to multidimensional or vice versa is this deployment mode of zero is for a multidimensional instance. If I wanted it tabular, I would set it for a two. So the three valid settings are zero for multidimensional, one for SharePoint, and two for tabular. I'm just going to leave mine at multidimensional, but basically you would just do that. You would save it. You would go back and restart your service for analysis services, and that would switch the mode. So it's really as simple as that, that when I look at it. Now, you want to be careful when you do that, that if you have any cubes and so forth, it's you are going to lose some of that data. So you only want to do this on an instant. You really do want to switch uh, over or basically start over on either multidimensional or tabular. Um, now, you can run both on one machine. Now, Microsoft is, uh, you know, puts in their language uh, somewhat, um, I'll call them weasel words, <laughs> but basically they give you a caveat that they don't really recommend you run them on the same server unless that server has a lot of horsepower because it takes some juice. But you can install tabular in one in one location and multidimensional in another location and run those side by side. They have different instance names at that point. So you can technically do that. But typically a server will support one instance. And this is how you would switch between uh, either tabular or multidimensional if you need to do that. 
So hopefully you found today's session helpful for the hopefully a rare instance when you would need to do that. But if you do run into that, hopefully I saved you some time and some headache. Uh, that's really all I have for today. If you have any suggestions at all on what to cover in a future topic, feel free to send it my way. Um, and I do have, let me find my, my banner here. Just send it to info at dashboardgear.com and we'll be happy to cover a topic that you'd like to cover. Happy New Year, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.